you know, I assume... What's that? I assume now that apparently Russell killed that uh, zookeeper, which is the exact uh, appearance as the Basa. So I assume every single person we've met here, we've murdered, you know? As like a little kid? Let me look at little child murderer. That was a flyer. Open today! Information shop, information! Look for the sky blue roof. Alright. Hello. Hello, Russell. Welcome to the Dream Sand Guidance HD Brand Shop. I just finished setting the shop ready here. Now some real work can begin. Right, so this shop, it's a place where we can send you wherever you want to go. Oh, but it's not exactly everywhere, actually. It has to be somewhere you've gone before. Well, it'll be faster to try it out. Touch the various sculptures that were up right there. Go ahead. Okay, let me say first. Encounters market you may. Oh, okay. Sends us over here. It's like fast travel. Okay. Oh, encounters. I guess I thought they were like security drones or whatever, but they're actually just uh, merchants. I guess. Well, I don't want to be here yet. I'm quit real quick and go back to where I was. I mean, I was, I'm gonna go there anyway, but I want to talk to the people first. You know. So I guess that's the fast travel room. Fast travel room. Hey, Tabasa, remember that time I killed you? Some, people, uh, some of the animals are gone. We know what you did to him. We know you're watching. Okay, the, I guess these are the monkeys. Monkeys annoying? Dad annoying? Okay, so that's the context for Tabasa. Where is he, though? You know, is he gone from the dream, or is he just somewhere else? Hello. Did I kill you too? I guess I killed everyone. Morning. Came to greet me so bright and early. Pretty, pretty dedicated. Ugh, pretty dedicated. So, what do you want? Come to think of it, some shady sounding shop just opened. Did you get a flyer, a flyer in the mailbox? Uh, an information shop, I think. How exactly would you even sell something non-physical? Well, that said, it's not like I'm totally uninterested either. I've got three items, homeworld rooties, a demonemi, <laughs> and saves tree branches. It's probably not apparent what they do at a glance, so well, just buy one and find out. Okay. Seven walnuts? That's a lot. There's enough for sale. Five walnuts. Fifteen walnuts? This is too rich for my blood. I only have forty walnuts. Okay, fine. I'll buy one. Just to see what it is. Okay, what is it? Keeps enemies away briefly with a strange glare. Okay, it's Repel from Pokemon. Uh, what about this? A five-pack. Okay. I don't want to buy a five-pack. But I assume, well, I assume these ones, they, uh... Well, it's like a homeworld bone. Homeward bone. Home is it homeworld? <laughs> the home ward, home, home world, home, home world, home, 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 home. Oh. I assume those ones they uh, teleport you back to the town or something, maybe? I'm guessing. And a safe tree branch, I don't know what that is. I don't know. Oh. I'll look at your items later when I have more money. Medicine shop. Fine weather, yes? I feel myself nodding off a bit. So what is it today? Let's chat. Well now, young one, you look rather unwell. Seen a bad dream perchance? Regrettably, I have no medicine to combat poor dreams. Apologies. Oh, I mean, this is a dream. Might you consider a body pillow or the like to divert your attention? <laughs> yes, waifu body pillow. Those are quite relieving. Your waifu will protect you in your dreams. <laughs> Not you. In the bean house. She's cooking. 
Ah, oh, Russell. Morning. Thanks again for yesterday. So, what is it today? Did you try to cut, try my cooking? Or did you come to try my cooking? Blah, blah. My talk. Say, did you see that information flyer? I think it was in your mailbox, so probably an informant. Huh? Sounds super mysterious and cool. I think I'll visit it later. What if there isn't any, really anything I want to know? Maybe I'll just annoy them. Tricky. Here, try cooking. Thanks. Okay, pick whatever you fancy from the menu. I do takeout too. Okay, so we bought. Okay, she, she is a restaurant. You know, I thought that it's a house and a restaurant at the same time. Spicy turn turn imp turn imp turn imp salad. Feeling item for everyone. Interesting. Lemon pie. Here's statuses. Hmm. Non fainted. Uh, sure, I'll buy one of these just in case I need it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so most of these guys are just really just they're just shops you know you can buy stuff from. But actually, well, I, I shouldn't spend too much of my walnuts actually because uh, I want to save up for like maybe weapons and equipment. I know the incarners, you know, have a little like marketplace, so maybe I can buy stuff from there. Good morning, Russell. Did you sleep well yet last night? Oh yes, that reminds me. Have you visited that info shop? It seems it just opened today. And you see, the person in that shop was the spitting splitting image of you, Russell. Or spitting? Spitting image? Oh, that was like splitting image, not spitting image. Uh, spitting image. He said it was a coincidence, but he looked almost identical. I was really very startled. Hmm, apparently someone that looks like Russell. Oh, it's you. As you can see, I'm at work. I'm sorting out everyone's IDs. I plan to issue an ID card for you too soon. Without one, they won't let you into other towns. I believe it should be ready to send by tomorrow or so. Look forward to it. Mm hmm Yes. Eyeballs. Just like, you know, casual eyeballs. Here's the information shop, I guess. So this was the building I couldn't go into last time. Let's go visit that last, maybe? Hmm, it's you. I don't know what you came for, but I'll throw you out if you act up. Uh, if you have your hands free, I really would appreciate some help in cleaning the church. I don't dislike cleaning, but even I must take issue with the half day it takes to clean this. Oh lord. Oh lord. Coming from a priest. SOS? Going to our house? phone. There's a flyer that says, say no to drugs. Well, ironic, because we're taking drugs right now. A number of rules of the town. Read them? Sure. Number one, this town has no name. Thus, call it whatever you like. However, to go through other towns, you must have an ID card. Whoever notices the communal field needs watering uh, must be the one to do it, unless you don't want veggies. No one can slack off. Lastly, Russell, you must not reveal to the residents that this is your dream. The moment you reveal it to anyone is the moment this blessed dream crumbles. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Hey, by the way, I'm a dream. And then everyone starts melting and turning into monsters and they start killing you. Hey, it's you. Spinely as you ever were. Eating, right? Oh yeah, you're here right on time. See, I need some help with something. You free right now? Sure. Alright, that's the ticket. Okay, time for a little request. There's been sightings of a dubious monster in this town lately. No damages yet, but it ain't good. After the fact, uh, be it be too late, so I want you to hand all these heads up flyers to everybody. Besides you and me, it should be seven flies in all. Alright, here you go. You could just stick them in the mailbox by everybody's house. Counting on ya. We're just a delivery person now. We're a mailman. Reminds me of the last game I just played, actually, which was a uh, uh, Dweller's Empty Path. Can we look at the flyer? I'm fine, assisting. Beware of the dubious monster. So no point in putting it in her own mailbox. Putting it in this one. Now let's go in here first. What's in here? 
There's a book called The Guide Selling Old Lady, but there's a lock on the cover. It won't open. Ah, mm. oh, yes, it's me. About elements. You should observe the magic monsters used to figure out what their element is. For instance, if a monster uses a flame as spell, that monster is a fire elemental. If it uses glacier, it's an ice elemental. Similarly, rosary indicates holy elemental, unknown or darkness spells means it's a dark elemental. However, there are non-elemental monsters who use physical attacks and no magic, so you probably don't need to be too, ner too nervous. Okay. Hmm. And that was number two. What about number one? In this world, there exists four elements. Fire, ice, holy, and dark. Okay, only those four. Fire are weak to ice. Ice weak to fire. Holy weak to dark. And dark weak to holy. Yeah, makes sense. When monsters use powerful elemental attacks, it'll be easier to fight them by making use of skills and equipment that gives resistance. Now that some monsters are not elemental. Honestly, there won't really be a time you're unable to win with brute force, but if you want to win beautifully, you can keep it in the back of your mind. You want to win beautifully. Hmm. Okay. About type 2 weapons. Most characters have type 2 weapons. The type 1 weapons they start with are weapons that best suit their, uh, suit their stance. Equipping a type 2 weapon will greatly alter their stance to make them viable as a different kind of character. Also, some skills require a type 2 weapon. If you want a different playstyle and want to balance your party, then equipping a type 2 weapon may be a good idea. Some people do not have type 2 weapons, so simply try to find their strong points and make good use of them, please. Okay. Do you like different books around here? The guys in the way. What about this one? About recovery items. Okay. The herbal me remedies at Cantera Medicinal are all meant to heal one ally for a lot. They can't heal the whole party. Meanwhile, the food you can buy at the restaurant is for healing on all allies. Rather expensive, but good for emergencies. Also, the only way to learn magic that heals the whole party is by items called Prayer Guide Volume 1 and Volume 2. Choose who learns them carefully. Hmm. Status elements, sure, why not? It's like little tutorial stuff. Instead, the illusion steadily saps HP and MP, can cure with awakening pill. Confusion makes you attack allies in confusion. Okay. Sleeping makes you fall asleep, can't do anything until uh, someone wakes you up. And uncertainty makes you unable to act, cured naturally after time or with awake. Everything, I guess, everything is, is cured with awakening pills. Faltering makes you unable to act, cured naturally after one turn, fainted. Uh, you die, I guess, or out of energy. I don't know what out of energy means. I assume you die, you know. But it can cure with good medicine. And good medicine can heal you. Can I, I assume revive you? I do have one. Okay, so yeah. Good medicine is basically the revival of medicine. You're gonna need plenty of that if you like in any RPG. Look at that. No, okay. Hello, me. Hey, Russell. I've been waiting to see you. <laughs> yes, it's, you, it's me, except you're evil. I'm the informant. As the name implies, it's my job to tell you all sorts of info about this world. Hmm? Ah, you're curious why I look like you? Oh, because surely you be the one who knows your own self best. There's no better informant than me. But I must say, things are awfully convenient in this happy dream of yours. Almost disgusting, really. You must be quite satisfied with a dream where you all get along, hmm? But this is all just a dream. Don't ever forget that. Hey Russell, here to hear some valuable info about your happy dream? Sure. Alright, at the moment I can tell you this much. What will it be? About zoo monkeys. Yes, monkeys sure are annoying. Just like dad, am I right? That's why the screeching annoyed you so much, very much. Too bad about the zookeeper. He must have been curious about a timid boy like you being at the zoo on his own. Well, he was unlucky, wasn't he? If it weren't for the monkeys, I wouldn't have done that myself. Probably. Adults with no sense of caution can be taken down so simply. It was rather pleasant, wasn't it? Admit it. Well, that's the end of that story. Come again now. I'll be waiting for you here. What about something else? How about what should I do next? Right. They should involve a lot of involvement with Gardenia. Maybe you head out somewhere together. And perhaps you me in some small part. That may depend on you. Also, Varian, the dream side guy left of your house, seems to have set up some sort of facility. If you have time, go check it out. Okay, okay, so they're basically outlining what you can do at the moment. 
like a side quest with Yumi and like uh and like uh, a thing you could do with um Gardenia. Is something else? What was it? I think he mentioned something else, I forgot already. Oh, the hint the hint thing is gone. The oh yeah, the fast travel, the, the fire. Uh, I like the fast travel thing. Oh the sheep are back. Oh uh, I guess the, the the cages were just sheep? You know, the people in the cages or well, not people, animals. Was a zoo fun, the monkeys are in a cage. We look like sheep but are not, because Russell, you don't know what sheep are, <laughs> okay? We are sheep, though actually not really. We're eternally sad. Hey Russell, morning. You sleep well last night? Hey, whoa there, you look kinda sick. You okay? Did you stay up way late? Wait, hold on. Is it yesterday's fatigue catching up to you? Yeah, it was sorta of exhausting. Guess I might be partly responsible in that case. Sorry. <laughs> okay. It's more like we killed you in real life, but don't worry about it, I guess. There's nothing. Flyer in there. Put the flyer over here. Gotta uh, give everyone the heads up, even though it doesn't matter. Because they're just dream people. They don't have sentience. They're all just pieces of my mind. Pretending to be someone else other than me. But actually, they're all just part of me. And my memories. Oh, done delivering already? That was right quick. You got some fast legs on you. Alright, take this. Your reward for the day. Obtain five walnuts. Wow. Wonder what that dub dubious monster looks like for certain, though. I ain't seen the thing for myself, but I can't speak for to anything. But even as a rumor, it's uncanny. Oh yeah, I think it was Dr. Kintaro who sent in the report. Spotted on the morning walk. Good nothing happened, but makes you wonder. Better handle this soon, huh? I drew up those flowers myself. Pretty good monster drawing, right? Just my mental image, cause. I'm good at drawing pictures. Not any fancy artworks or nothing. Well, I just like doing it is all. Hmm. You going here? No, can't go in there. There's some kind of monster that we can probably fight for ourselves, maybe. You know? Alright. We still can't go to other towns, but let's check out over here real quick. Oh, good day. We are Incarners, one who creates incarnations of your mind. This area has now become safe, it appears. Thanks to that, we can do business. Please, proceed right ahead. Make use of our technology to your heart's content. Okay. You're not the one that keeps yelling at all caps, though. Thank you for visiting, customer. Welcome to the Incarnation Market. Your inner aggression, your inner defensiveness. Here, we can make them incarnate. Take a look around. Nameless town. That's the rule, it has no name. It could be anything. With that creepy monster gone, we incarnates can at last open our market here in this clearing. But just what was that monster anyway? Was it hungry or what? Welcome. Uh, what? Well, uh, in regards to being incarnate, will you make use of it? Yes. Incarnate. Okay, so basically you buy stuff. It's not that expensive, actually. You can get a metal bat or a musket plus, which is not for us, but I guess it's for the Basa. No? I guess I'll buy one. Return. Is it like selling? Thank you very much. That is, in fact, your aggression. Please, be careful. Okay. Well, we have a better weapon now. It's a metal bat. Hooray! It's how we killed Tabasa in real life, I guess. Got nothing in here. We are incarners. As the name implies, our kind has the power to make incarnations from people's minds. All people have both inner aggression that become weapons and inner defensiveness that become armor. It is our mission to incarnate these things to add to your power. Probably. Probably, you know. You're also, you know. Made up things in my mind too, though. Inner defensiveness, probably armor. You have enough? And get the leather vest. A apron. It's not for us, but probably it's for uh. 
or your um Garnia maybe? Garnia? Garnia? Hmm. They already have a doubt bracelet, but can we give that to somebody? I don't know. It doesn't show, so I'll just I'll just come back maybe with another character. If it shows that they can wear the bracelet, I'll buy it. Any monsters to fight here? I guess not. This is just the place we were at. We can go back here, but I don't imagine we can do much here. Yeah, we have to wait for our ID. Well, let's I guess just go back and uh, talk to some more of the villagers. I imagine maybe Gardenia has something we need uh, to do, and then she'll join our party or something. Which is kind of weird because then what if she joins our party? And what happens when? We need to buy something from her, you know, like buy some food. She's not available. Can I talk to you again? I don't know if anything, anything's changed. Uh, for y'all react up. Okay, yeah. Cleaning, but yeah, same thing. Apparently though, our informant, which is ourselves, our like evil self, apparently mentioned something about Gardenia. Maybe we talk to Gardenia? Hello? Hmm. New frying pan. Oh, I know. Hey, Russell. Do you want to go with me to, the, to that market like right now? These sorts of things are way more fun to look around with someone else. Well, will you come with me? Sure. Really? Alright. Just wait right there. I'll get someone to watch the store. Gardenia joined. Somebody else can... Okay, so that okay, that's the, that's exactly what it is. Somebody else can act as a shopkeeper. But what are you? That's It's hard to see. Are you like an angel? What are you? Ah, uh, sleepy. Mm, oh yeah, I'm the one running the shop for Gardenia. I'm another Gardenia. Not really that strange, you know. This is your dream after all. Can I buy something? Oh, I see. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, oh, she's rubbing her eyes. That's what I'm, I'm looking like. Why is there like a weird tail coming out of her stomach? No, it's her, it's her, it's her hands. And she's like, it's rubbing her eyes. And you know, she's an angel, I guess, because probably we killed her. I don't know. Let's just go. Let's equip her though. Let's see. There's an apron. Very defense. La 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 la. Actually, can we talk to people now? Because she's on our party. I wonder if there's any. New dialogue, I need to see. Uh, what was it today? I saw you sleep some- Oh, I uh, say young one. I saw you slip some things in my mailbox earlier. I've not read it yet. A newspaper? Oh, a heads up regarding a dubious monster. Oh, so I see. I suspect that would be the monster I spoke of to Yumi prior. Its appearance, you ask? Well, how to describe it? Yes, it was not a cute beast for one. However, uh, what I do clearly remember is the darkness of, of, of its true form, like a true darkness, sucking up all light. Thinking on it now, mayhap it was little more than a waking dream, yet it has me wondering. Hmm. Probably have to fight that monster. Sometime, eventually. Oh, Gardenia and Russell. You sure looking friendly. Going somewhere? Hmm, the Incarnar market, huh? Looking for a ribbon or something? Oh, a frying pan. Yeah, that one's pretty worn out. Seeing as you're gonna get your money's worth out of it, go ahead and buy an expensive one. I don't have money. <laughs> Do I have to buy it for her, I wonder? I mean, she's buying it for herself, right? So hopefully she has enough money, because I don't. I have like 10 bucks. So I don't have a lot. No one's there. Because, uh, he's over here. Hey now, you guys, where are you going? To get a frying pan, huh? Probably it's about time for a new one, sounds good to me. Hey guys, you got enough walnuts? It sucks to shovel without cash. I don't have very many. Now, now, that's a tragedy. You'll just feel miserable going. Guess it's got no choice. Here's an allowance from Big Bro. <laughs> Big Bro. Not much, but better than nothing. Five walnuts. Yeah. 
All right, take care. Don't spend it all one place. Got some free money from Big Bro, the one we bashed the head in of. Uh, let's see. It got pretty dark actually, pretty quickly, you know. <laughs> I remember in uh, walking on the Star Unknown. There's some spooky parts, some you know horror parts to it, but it wasn't immediately, you know, obvious that there were some spooky parts. And for the most part, actually, it was actually kind of wholesome. You know, the, the most spooky part in uh, Walking on a Star Unknown, the other game by Segawa, was uh, actually not that bad. You know, it wasn't actually that spooky. But in this game, though, I guess they're just coming out with it, you know, very quickly. Hmm, an uncommon guess. What have you come for? Ah, uh, to the forest. Those monsters may have withdrawn, but do not let up your guard. And wasteful spending of walnuts will be your undoing. Ensure you shop in moderation. Okay. There's always a little bit more dialogue when you talk to people. Uh, ah, yes, the three cardinal weapons stick, frying pan, and gun. Yes. Kind of reminds me of uh, Earthbound, actually. Or, like, I guess Mother. These little, like, weird weapons you can get in this game. Oh, the same dialogue. I'm just double checking, you know. I want to see that dialogue. I want to squeeze all that dialogue out from the from the rag. Ah, it's you two. Good day. Are you headed out somewhere? I see shopping at the Incarnus Market. That sounds nice. But don't forget, um, you should come back before it gets too late, okay? Because it's dangerous at night. I've seen strange things lately, or maybe it's just my imagination. My, it's Russell and Gardenia. Not often you show up here. Keep your pranks to a minimum. I hear you hit a car uh, caterpillar in Tabasa's hood just the other day. Having energy is just fine, but I ask you to use it more positively. Okay. Actually, I wonder, is there a party formation? I guess not, because I'm wondering, like, can I, like, switch my main character? But I guess you can. Make it so I can make, like, Gardenia walk around. Is uh, going over here, does it do anything? I don't imagine it, because this is, kind of, this is kind of like a meta. I don't think he would acknowledge. I don't think he would acknowledge, uh... Gardenia. Alright, time to go to the market. What can we do here? Oh, and it's uh, over here as well. Let me check the doubt bracelet. Okay, she can wear. Okay, so I can buy for her, but wait. I want to make sure I have enough to buy whatever she wants to buy here. Let's see. Welcome, welcome. What and all? It's cheap, it's cheap. Buy, buy something now. Ooh, I bet they'll have a good frying pan here. Hey, Russell, t let's take a look. Sure. Give me a second. I'll finish this real quick. Hello, um, do you have any sturdy, er ergonomic, long-lasting frying pans? Yes, we have frying pans. Square frying pans for cooking eggs. Every single one of them, buy it. Buy it all. Wow, they're all square frying pans. That's weird. Hey, don't you have any round ones at all? You must have at least one. Round ones? Not one. Give up. Oh, is that right? That's amazing in a way. Well, that's a problem, huh? Don't they sell any round frying pans anywhere? Ah, this is just a situation that calls for visiting that informant. A brilliant insight, if I might say. That information shop did just open today, too. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we can go to the informant now. Alright. So I guess maybe the other Russell will acknowledge her. Well, time to keep, rotate our saves. Let's see. Yeah, at this point, I might as well just buy the thing for her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't equip my leather vest, actually. I should do that. Equip. Equip the leather vest. Black vest. And then equip her with the doubt bracelet as well. Should probably buy another one actually. Hmm. How much is this for? Mm, yeah. Some uh, cause maybe Tabasa will join our party or something later, I don't know. Uh does Tabasa mean anything in Japanese? I don't know. I know Subasa means like I think it means feather, maybe, Subasa. But I don't know what Tabasa means, necessarily. I mean, it depends on how it's written, actually. You know, in Japanese, sometimes they have meanings to them. 
because that's how names are in Japanese, you know? They're often like written in, in kanji or kanji, I guess, if you're like a native Japanese person. Your names are often like, um, they have like meanings to them. Like for example, if your name is, I guess like Yamazaki, I guess or whatever, the Yama can be written as like mountain, you know? So it's kind of like it means something. It means like you're as strong as a mountain, I don't know, something like that. I, I'm not entirely sure though, maybe I shouldn't say actually because I don't know the intricacies. But something like that. But it's also like a name, obviously. Much like how like in English, actually. You know how a lot of people are named, like their last name is Smith or whatever? As it turns, I didn't know this for the longest time actually, but Smith as in like a blacksmith, you know, or whatever, like a shoe smith or whatever, like a metal smith. So the smith in people's names uh, are like from their ancestors who were actually like, that That was their job, you know, medieval times or whatever, you know, such a, since, since, since such a long time ago. I'm trying to think, any other names are kind of, I mean, there's probably a bunch of names like that. I can't think of anything off the top of my head though. Like Baker, yeah, Baker is a last name, you know, somebody's last name is Baker. At some point, you know, their ancestry, uh, they had some an actual baker, you know, medieval times or whatever, you know, a long time ago. That's where their name is called a baker. <sighs> anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, you look just like Russell. Wow, why is that? Why is that? Are you actually siblings? Mm, just coincidence. Haha, <laughs> well, all right. If you say so, let's go with that. So what is it today? You need my information? Uh, yes, that's right. I can't believe I have to specify, but we want a round frying pan, see? Uh -huh, I know a good place. It's a bit dangerous, but I know you'll find what you seek. And to get there, uh, yes, you should follow this compass. Celebration compass. Oh, what a pretty compass. So with this, we can go somewhere with a nice round frying pan? You've got it, you know, as he says with an evil smile. Go on, give it a try. Come ask if there's anything else. Is there anything else? Ah, never mind. I already saw those before. I already saw that information. Let's see. Celebration compass? Russell, your birthday was sad, wasn't it? No one came to celebrate your birth. The sad birthday hid in the forest, in a tree, under the carpet. Go down the stairs to recall the sadness. It feels like something changed, somewhere in the dream. Okay. It probably activated something? What did it activate? I don't know. Let's go. So something in the tree. Well, the only thing... There's only trees in the forest, I guess. And the only tree I've been into is the one in here, right? Over here. Under the carpet, maybe? Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. Oh, and we can, uh, we can add Tabasa. It's just his ghost, I guess. Not really the real Tabasa, I assume. It's just, uh... He's just in our party, just because, I guess. In that case, I can give him the, uh, the outbreak. Oh, and a better weapon, actually. The Musket Plus. Wow. It's even more muskety, I guess. All right. Let's go in. Time to recall the sadness. This is the, this is the, the this is the house of a sad birthday. The birthday of someone you know. Have you come to end the party? Sure. Yes, yes, this is Cantera Medicinal. Oh, it's you. What of it? Do you require medicine? I neglected to mention, but I do employ a fellow by the name of Delivery You. Quite handy, would you say? So, what will it be? Have you any need for my medicine? Uh, I can't really afford any. I could buy like one or two, but I think we're fine. Yeah, I already read this. Eh. Oh. Let's see. Oh! Random battles. It's an unsent letter. Wow. Attack. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a frying pan. Got my bat. Okay, so there's like different animations, I guess. At least for Russell. It seems like the boss has the same animation though. It was a sad birthday. No letters came from anyone. Ten experience and some walnuts. Oh. There's a stick in the middle. It's over to the right. Well, birthday presents. I mean, we just attack, unless Gardenia has any skills she can use. We can squat, it doesn't really help us. 
Uh, oh, she has tasty fried veggies. Okay. You can, I guess, cook stuff for us. Using her MP. The boss only needs healing, though, actually. I guess he never healed up, or maybe he got hit for a lot last time or something. I don't know. Okay, well, we need a heal. Let's see, birthday present. Yeah, use that. Use the power of fried veggies. I don't think dad or mom cared at all about the day I was born. It was a sad birthday. Yeah. You had birthdays? Why not? Why even have the birthday in the first place? Is all I'm saying. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh man, she needs a heal. <laughs> it's already quite tough already. Maybe I should have used. I should have bought some more medicine. Um, I use that on yourself, real quick. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, probably I'm gonna have to use some of my walnuts actually to buy some. Healing items already. Get a weak spot, critical hit. Okay. Yeah, get some trial pills though. Alright. Well, time to <laughs> These enemies are already tough. Uh, let's see. Heal up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's fine. She didn't. He was max health already. She has low health actually. Hmm. You know what? Max health, please. And then buy some more in the thing. Buy some more trial pills. You know what? Yeah, we, we we just got some walnuts, so just buy like five of them. Yeah. Oh, okay, just got from Giant Dragon. One day delivery, amazing. Not only one day, actually one second delivery. Fresh with the roses. Get them before they get you. Time to attack. I wonder how you heal, like, MP, you know? Because uh, Gardenia used a lot of her MP to, to use her skill and everything, but now she can't restore that MP anymore. Yeah, she already has low HP, my god. Gardenia, level 3! Tabasa, level 4! Finally. So she oh she doesn't get her HP back though, you know. And then in other RPG games, you get an HP back when you use your skills or not or level up rather, not use skills. I'm using a skill right now though. Uh oh, is that actually? I was looking for XP before, but is it like P? You know, you see the P there on the right side under like levels. Is that the XP? I guess. It just says P. <laughs> you know, I thought that I don't know. It's X. Usually it's XP, not P. Who are you? Uh, squats? Yeah, squats is for some reason squats heal you. I don't know why, but apparently squatting heals you. Here's Raymond. Uh, just my luck, eh? To be dispatched to a weirdo dream like this. Oh, you the dreamer? Some dream you got here. Are you alright in the head? Oh, well, I'm a dream, dream send trader. I go around peddling this and that in people's dreams. So let's get right to it. Today's item is a super ball. Let you do an attack on all enemies. Alright then, one super ball. How's eight walnuts sound? Do I have enough? I guess I do. Sure, why not? Nice, thanks. Good stuff, buddy. Thought you might haggle with me, but I went so I went a bit high, but Alright, here's the goods. Blessing of dream ventures. Oh. <laughs> Even for a user of that drug, this is one dangerous dream. But hey, it's a problem for me. I'll see you, buddy. Whoops, maybe I should have said no. I I spent I end up spending more. Oh well, next time I will say no. <laughs> That's fine. We'll get more walnuts by just fighting enemies anyway. I was thinking like, you know, I might as well spend the walnuts while I'm here because I'm not like want to use it for anything else. Except healing, I guess. I should get more healing. There's a sad wailing inside. Hmm, I guess. Blood. Need some more goods? Well, that's what I like to say, but not out of stock for today. You just brought the last one, or bought the last one. Okay. You didn't get to buy anything else. There's a lot of random battles in this game, as it turns out. Good thing we bought that equipment, so we, we shouldn't be taking too much damage. 
Still a lot, though. Tied a ribbon. Therefore, we take damage. Oh, no. drinking some water, so I wasn't speaking. Uh, you over here? Muffled voice behind the door. I desire sad feelings. Knock. Sad feelings are beyond the wall. A different color, but certainly a wall. Sadness is beyond it. Laugh. Okay. I guess I can't go there yet? Maybe? Hmm. You're not going to defend for now, and uh, you will use wild firing. Everyone takes damage. Good. Uh, it was a sad birthday. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Again, I wonder how you heal uh, MP, you know? It would be nice if I get some MP now. <laughs> like maybe, uh, do I just go back? I wonder, can I just like leave? I wonder if I can just leave, you know? Or just save. Yeah, MP doesn't go back up. Where can I like, where's the Pokemon Center? I guess I'll have to use, you know, use these pills. That's fine. We're not making much progress, but we're, I guess we're getting a bunch of XP. There's that at least. Let's see, buy uh, five more of these. Sure, why not? Yeah. Alright, so we can't, we can't go to the right. Let's go to the left, maybe? It's over here. Hello, I'm Hitman. Oh, it's Hitman. Even in places where monsters appear in droves, there's always a safe place. Your hint is the pink balloon. At pink balloons, there's rest. If you're tired from fighting, it should be good to relax. That's all. Okay, so, okay, there are healing places. We need just to go find a pink balloon. Okay, capsule. Nothing in particular inside. All right. Heals MP. Okay, that heals MP. Alright. So there are like MP healing items. But I feel like the best thing to do is to find a pink balloon. Where's a pink balloon? Uh, kill, by the way. Kill! Oh yes. The word kill has been etched into a wall of a knife. Good. A fireplace. Hmm. In fact, can I run? Yeah, just run. I don't want to deal with those guys anymore. At least there's like three of them. Oh, here you go. You take a rest? Yes. Okay. Huh? Pretty big house, huh? You could get lost on your own. Those These monsters are tough too. Oh, okay. So he does show up actually. I was thinking they said before how like the party members, when you uh, use them, put them in your party, they don't really count as the real ones. But I guess, you know, it's a dream. So whatever. You get, you get multiple copies anyway. If you do get lost, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go look for you. Sorry. So definitely don't get separated. I mean, this house is scary. Okay, something's gonna pop up for sure. Russell, isn't this house just huge? Kind of run down, but it's cool in its own way. If there's just a big kitchen, and there weren't the monsters or spider webs or cracked walls, hmm. Now that I think about it, I guess my current house is fine. Okay. Lapidary shelves. I got a homeworld rooty. Something I could have bought from uh, Cody. Uh, takes you home in a flash. Yeah, okay, that's what it is. Escape rope, basically. Your mirror. Spooky house. Very spooky. Alright, there you go. Okay, good. Now to abuse that, <laughs> you know, forever. Because, uh, I do like to heal infinitely while I grind out monsters. 
So I'll probably not spend too much time. I imagine you can spend like a long time just grinding out all your levels. Your level 100. But obviously I'm not going to do that. I don't think that game kind of needs that much grinding anyway. Oh, wow, that sound. Did you hear that, Russell? Uh, is there really going to be a nice round frying pan in a place like this? I'm uneasy. It came from the left. Let's go up first, though. Yeah, so it's actually the house is not that big for now. It's not that, it's not that complicated. It seemed complicated. Hello? 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 Okay, it's <laughs> just... Hee hee hee. Just pranks. Hmm, sad letter. Crying tears of blood. Hey, she learned piping hot veggies. What does that do? Fling hot veggies to lower enemy defenses. Yeah. She doesn't have a lot of MP though. Yeah. Just low HP and low MP. So Gardenia kind of sucks. <laughs> In terms of stats anyway. Apparently, even though she has useful abilities, you can't use it very often, I guess. Uh, the wall seems differently colored here. Should I try something? Knock on the wall. Happy birthday, Russell! The utmost sadness lies behind the unopenable doors. But be careful, there's lots of, lots of cream inside the box, and it's itching to hurt you. So, go give sadness, so they can better know your own mind. Russell learned sadness. Okay. We now know sadness. Slightly lowers the enemy's attacks. Good. We can use the power of sadness. Amazing. Uh, I mean, we're actually pretty fully healed and everything, so we, just, we, just, we can just go. Attack, attack, attack. The monsters vanished. Got two walnuts. Um, you know what? Well, I'm, I'm such a... Scrooge. I don't want to use my item, so I'm just gonna heal right here. That's probably the same dialogue, right? So I'll just go again. Yeah. I don't want to use any of my items to heal 4 HP. I'll just heal, heal over there. And then run. Because I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna fight a boss soon, right? Maybe. Or it's just gonna be a second floor? I don't know. I know the first time we fought like a, you know, a monster or whatever, it's actually pretty short. I don't know if it's gonna be the same here. Most of what? Desire sad feelings. Use the power of sadness. Door open. What's behind? I don't know. It's gonna get you though, they said something about cream in the box or something. Hello? Alright. Use the power of sadness? Don't use. It doesn't do anything though. Fine, use it. Happy birthday to you. Dear Russell. By the way, I mean, for the longest time, the happy birthday song was copyrighted, right? But I don't think it is anymore. As it turns out, it's actually a myth now that it's actually copyrighted. I thought it was, but I've learned that it isn't, I guess. It isn't copyrighted. That actually, it did run out. And so... You, you can't, you know, get a copyright strike or whatever for playing Happy Birthday. Not anymore anyway. It used to be, but not anymore. The top came off and something attacked. Oh no! It's cake! Well, what's this? A birthday cake? Alright. Is it like a boss where there's like two, you know, two enemies surrounding it? You gotta kill those ones first and then you can fight the big one, maybe? Let's see. Let's use uh, sadness on the lamenting one, real quick. Uh, piping hot veggies. I don't need that to do that now. Let's just attack one of the birthday presents, I guess. Nice bullet. Wild firing, why not? Dodged. Sadness, is it the kanji for sadness maybe? Okay. Lower its attack some more. Mm. 
I guess it's just attack. And then you use while firing again. Lamenting on Gardenia, I'll give you lots of happiness, my angel. Papa loves you. Oh, Gardenia, if only you had wings. If only you had wings then. You'll float in the air and fly to me. Uh. Okay. Ow, oh, I almost got hit. Gardenia, I'll give you lots of happiness. My angel, Papa loves you. Oh, Gardenia's HP was fully restored. Alright. The lamenting one gives HP to Gardenia. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. So she just we should she just took took damage from uh, the lamenting one though. Let's see, I guess we attack this one. Gardenia, give one uh, yeah, give one HP. And then you do maybe ice bullet on this one too? Papa loves you! And then she yeah, gets more HP back. Weird. Okay, not really weird, I guess. I guess it's part of Gardenia's story, I imagine. And now it's just you. Attack. Gardenia, use your piping hot veggies and your, like, father cake or something. It's your weird, like, dad has become a cake or something. I don't know. Ice bullet. Man. Attack. Everyone attack. Go. This cake must die. I was invited to a classmate's birthday party. It wasn't like we were friendly. It was the whole class that was just invited to the party, not just me. Her family was rich, and her dad made many, many incredible meals for her. He made the birthday cake, too. Mm. And Tabasa needs to heal. Mm. I'll just use the item. Eat a pill! Pop a pill! Pill's here! Add one attack, and the, and the, you know, the boss now should have less attack power, so... Oh, building power! Uh-oh. What does that mean? Take some sadness! Uh, everyone heal up! I spot it! He wasn't affected anymore. I guess I guess he's already got debuffed to the max, so he can't uh, lower his attack anymore, or lower its attack. You know. <laughs> Suddenly, I remember something. I remember today was my birthday too. Of course, no one knew that, so no one was celebrating me. During the party, I saw that blessed girl alone on a staircase landing. I approached her from behind. Did this blessed angel fly? Okay. <laughs> so you know, we had the same birthdays. But like, no one else cares about us, so I guess we'll just kill her. Russell, are you okay? You didn't like, push me off a staircase and kill me or something in real life? There's no time to think now. We're almost there, let's go! Attack. Attack, attack. It seems like we've killed many people. You <laughs> know, how do we get away with so many kills? And yet no one found out. You know, uh, the police, I guess, didn't suspect him. I don't know. The monsters vanish, and then we got stuff. Yay. Level up. Level up, flame bullet. Oh. There you go. Uh, what was that? Russell, are you okay? I like cake, but one that big would give me heartburn. How many would it feed, you think? Hmm? Hey, that box. A plain a round frying pan. <laughs> I thought it was just the way she was saying it, but actually it is round. Oh wow, a round sparkling frying pan. Yes, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. I got startled by the cake surprise, but it was worth the effort. So thanks a lot for helping me look for it. I'll keep working on my cooking now. Yeah, I know. Let's go back to my house. I'll make something of this. Or make something of this. Oh, all the roses are rotted now. Nothing else inside, but there's some rotten cream. Yeah. I guess there's a quipper. Round on the frying pan. Yeah. Better speed, apparently, as well. Everything is just... Bleh. Hi. Uh, I guess nothing, though. Traces of sadness, and the beds are like... All gone. 
Just the frames. Anything over here? Just an empty closet. And a bloody closet. Oh, it's red cream. Oh, yes, it's not blood, it's red cream. Not more monsters. Not more monsters to fight. Uh, I guess why not? I don't know. Get some extra experience, I guess. You're taking a lot of damage still. I just killed them. Hurry up. Giggling. Don't giggle at me. Attack, attack, attack. That's all I do. Attack, attack, attack. No strategy needed. Just, just, just kill it. Hey, she leveled up as well. Good. The sad birthday is over now. Happy birthday, Russell. <laughs> Happy birthday. Since you killed the girl, everyone else now has to celebrate your birthday instead, obviously. Let me just go to the pink balloon real quick. I want to you know, is there anything interesting I can find? No, everything is just like slightly different, I guess. Let me just uh, take a rest. Any different dialogue? Boy, I'm so glad I could find a good frying pan. Thank you, Russell. I'm certainly still curious about that monster, though. What do you think that was? For some reason, I really had a nerve to see my dad. I wonder why. That's because, you know, you're dead, so... You know, the monsters around here kind of remind me of birthday parties. Kind of nostalgic. By the way, birthday cakes. Chocolate cream's the best, right? What do you think? Well, what's with all the strawberry likers? There's always chocolate in my place. Alright, let's go. Weird that these people have personalities, you know? Like the Tabasa liking chocolate cake. And everything. But, you know, we don't know Tabasa, right, in real life. How would we know that he would like chocolate cake? I guess it's just all in our imagination. In the dream world. The monster has vanished. Alright, let's go. Nothing else to see over here. Did you like your present, Gardenia? <laughs> As in, like, death? You're now dead! Happy birthday! Okay, there we go. I guess that's it. Oh, and the, the square one is gone. Yo, maybe it wa I wanted to buy a square frying pan. Would have been maybe better for combat. With its pointy, pointy corners. With extra damage. Extra piercing damage. Anything else to do? I don't know if there's anything else to do. Can I talk to myself again? Just double check if there's anything else to do. Did you find what you wanted? That's good. My information is absolute, of course. I'm happy to be of service. Okay, yeah, so we got what we wanted. Hmm. Can we visit everyone again? Just to, you know. Talk to, them, talk to them about our haunted house experience. You went out again. Awfully outgoing for having just arrived here. Honestly, just what are these incarnates anyway? They truly are an enigmatic bunch. They seem to do business with some very questionable skills, but it's handy, so I'll let it pass. Okay. Let's go over here. Hello? Hey, you two, back from your date? Huh? The Mountain Cabin, eh? It's a pretty weird place to have a date, I gotta say. Wasn't a date? Sorry, I got a bad habit of intuinating? 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 Forget I said anything. Kind of weird, though. You know? These characters pushing us to, uh... Be like a, you know, pseudo couple, but actually it's a dead girl. In fact, they're all dead. They're all just victims of my psychotic urges to kill people, I assume. You know, that's what the story is about. Welcome back. So you went to the market. 
and came back quite late, I noticed. Hmm, I wasn't aware of such a place. A fantastic discovery. There are so many mysteries in this world. I like to go out on my quests, but with this body in mind, I fear that won't work out. I'm envious of your health. Alright, over here. Hello. What to do for dinner tonight? I can make minestrone with healthy carrots. Minestrone? Minestrone? Uh, Russo, hello. Do you need something from the field too? Oh, ah yes. This field is a commons for the townspeople. Everyone's help is in growing these vegetables must give them their sheen. They're nutritious and delicious. And delicious. And sentient. They're real. And we eat them alive. Yum yum yum. As they burn alive in the frying pan. Ah, uh, it's you. Well met. Ah yes, what do you think? My delivery service. Quite handy, isn't it? No harm in proper preparation. If you find yourself low on medical supplies, you may call any time. My friend, delivery you shall gladly carry the delivery to you. Order away, young one. Delivery you. Shall carry the delivery to you. Wow, what a slogan. Hello. Oh, hey, it's you guys. In a shop? By the way, Russell, do you know what that saves tree branch over there does? I don't. Eh, yeah, I thought so. Well, let Tabasa tell you the secrets of the safe tree branch. A safe tree branch is an accessory that protects against elements like illusion and confusion. And also, if you're hit with illusion, you steadily lose health and mind. It's kind of like poison. Pretty dangerous, huh? And it will heal naturally, so yeah, prevention's the best. Hmm, okay. I don't know about that. I would like the safe tree thing, though, in that case. It seems useful. Do I use it or do I equip it? I wonder. In that case. Okay, you equip it. Interesting. I lose defense, but I'll be safe from illusion and confuse. I guess depending on whether or not we'll be facing that kind of thing. Don't need it. How much walnuts do I have? 38. I can buy another one. In case I need double protection. Yeah. Uh, orange, you're gonna go now? Alright. See ya. Cody, what are you doing? I'm here to talk. Come to think of it, did you get an ID card yet? I see. Knowing Saxon, he should have issued it to you already, I'm sure. You need to show your ID card to enter other towns around here. It's annoying, but it's the rules. It's the rules. You gotta follow the rules. I guess just go back to her house and then yeah. Phew, I'm home. Once again, thank you for the day, Russell. I found something great thanks to you. Just as a way of saying thanks, you should eat dinner here tonight. I'll make the best meal I can. Of full of my my corpse. You see, you can eat my corpse. No uh not to brag, but my cooking skills the real deal. Just the other day, my dad My dad Yes. Like that crooked neck, I guess, because of the fall, you know? Did you have a nice fall? No. Uh, just wait a moment. I'll make it really quick. And then he left the party. She'll use ingredients of her literal body. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. It hurts. It's my birthday, give it back! Give it back, please, please, give it, give it back! Why did you do such a thing? Dad is crying, everything is upside down. I can't stand anymore, I can't breathe. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Russell? Jeez, Russell, are you okay? <laughs> like, it is uh, just a prank, bro. I was just pretending. Are you tired or something? I'm sorry, maybe I pushed you too much. <laughs> uh, um, I just made this now. Do you feel like eating? See? I see. Oh no, it's okay. You can take this home with you. I'll wrap it up, okay? Meat pie. Mmm, delicious meat pie. <laughs> what is it made of? Can I, I see? Where is it? Meat pie. Here's illusion. It's very, very flavorful. Um, Russell, um... 
Sorry for pushing you too far. Are you mad? Where's your dad? Huh? Uh, yeah, dad's out on business. What about it? And the reason, see, is my dad's a world-famous three-star cook. Very famous. Very in demand. <laughs> three-star. What does that mean, though? Isn't, like, five stars in the best one? Uh. Which is why he's always busy, and I can't usually meet him except on my birthday. Hmm. Except on your birthday, eh? I'm not mad. Okay, thank you. You're so nice, Russell. Oh yeah, is it okay if I write a letter to Dad about you, Russell? About how I made a new friend. Hmm, I'm sure he'll love that. I'd like to meet- uh, I'd like you to meet him someday. But you probably won't, because I'm dead. You killed me. You killed me, Russell. I'll always have a crooked neck. It's, uh, that's also the, probably the reason why uh, when Gardenia had the replacement, I guess. That's why she seemed to be an angel, I guess. She has a halo and everything. It's a reference to how she died. Uh, uh, Russell, uh, have you seen Cody anywhere? He just left me to watch the shop and went off somewhere. Unbelievable. Sure, I'm everybody's friendly big bro, but he's way too careless. So the point is, if you want a shop, wait for Cody to come back. Don't want to mess up and get yelled at. Okay, so Cody went somewhere, I guess. Any new dialogue here? <laughs> it seems like every time, every kind of transition, there's always some slight new dialogue sometimes. So say, have you ever been to a place called Dragon's Peak? There is refreshingly, uh, refreshingly cool there, and many rare herbs grow. Let us go there together soon. But to do so, you must procure your ID card, yes? So it should be at a later date. Should I go now? There's no reason to go down, I guess. Hello, I'm done for work with work for today. If you're looking for Mr. Saxon, he may be around the fountain. In truth, I would also have liked to be with him, but that would be impertinent. Hmm. Did I also kill you? <laughs> I killed you and your master, I guess. Maybe. Hey Russell, how'd the market go? Buy something good? No one probably walnuts if you ain't spending them. See something you like? Don't hesitate to buy. Maybe you want to buy a villa someday. Saving should, could be important, but it ain't good to hold out too much. Buy, buy, buy. Spend, spend, spend. Uh, it's you. I was just taking a breather after finishing the day's work. You went to the Incarnus Market, did you not? Well, find anything. Their technology is miraculous. Do not forget your gratitude for things they do for you. Anything in the church? I always keep visiting everybody's houses. <laughs> Half a day left simply from cleaning the church once again. Should I buy a vacuum? No, no, laziness isn't good and it could damage the floor. And you should get a get a, like a Roomba, you know? Maybe. That would help. Let's see. Oh, well, shop is closed for today. Okay. Cody went somewhere though? Where'd she go? She, did she go to the market maybe? I wonder. Let me just double check. I don't know. I don't know where she went. She could have went to a different town. If that's the case, I can't really follow her, can I? Oh, it's right here. Oh, fancy seeing you here. You came to shop too? There's a bunch here, huh? I know what I want to buy, but I've got a lot to choose from. But none of it is very cheap. I wonder if I could get a discount if I negotiate it. Uh, Dogma will get mad if I overspend. So I just leave, should I just buy what I need and leave? Any new stuff? No, the same stuff. I don't imagine the other one doesn't have any new things either, so I guess we, we're good to go. I guess Cody just came here to like shop. I thought it was gonna be like an extra little thing, you know, she gets, she gets kidnapped or something. It's like, oh no! But no, it's fine, actually. Alright, I mean, there's any, nothing else to do. I guess we're good to go back to where we were and maybe simply uh, have another bad dream or something. Hope of this. Informant. The informant running information. Kind and sociable, but with another side. And the spinning image, Russell? Hmm. Area, employee at Dreams and Guidance Incorporated. Can freely whoop around the dream world. Cheerful and innocent, but don't make her mad. Five. She real? You know, I wonder. She says that. But he's actually an employee. 
like a nurse or something that actually infiltrate people's minds in their dreams. Pretty... Pretty... effed up. Alright, time to go inside! Whee! Ah oh yes, back here. Frying pan, alright. I was invited to a classmate's birthday party. It wasn't like we were friendly, it was the whole class that was invited to the party, not just me. Her family was rich, and her dad made many many incredible meals for her. He made the birthday cake too. Suddenly I remember something. I remember today was my birthday too. Of course, no one knew that, so no one was celebrating me. During the party, I saw that blessed girl alone on the staircase landing. I approached her from behind. Could this blessed angel fly? I pushed her forcibly in the back. Her body tumbled down the stairs and she, she went squished like a cake. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. It's a present to me. By killing somebody. Hooray! Are we really 14? I don't know. It's like, we're, we're just... Do we just do, just do these things while we're 14 years old? My god. I mean, I guess it's not impossible. You can tell me to rehab, rehabilitate, but I don't really know what I should be doing this stream. I don't have the guilt. Everyone's kind. Hmm. Yeah, okay, that's the same thing, actually. Okay. Alright, I mean, there's nothing else to interact with. The other note is probably about the monkey. Oh, yeah. It's the monkey, the zookeeper. I guess go down. Happy birthday, dear Russell. Wish me a happy birthday. Ow. 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 Stop it. Ow. There you Hey, hold on. Stop it. Help. Corona black. Uh, that's last lock, too. No, okay. Leave me alone. Going here. I guess there's only way. No, that's also locked. Damn it. I can move around. I don't know if I should avoid them forever. This is it doesn't seem there's anywhere else to go, so I guess I should just maybe touch them and then they just go away. It seems I've been taking damage, but I, don't, I can't look at my menu, so I don't know if I've, I can actually die and get a game over. I don't know. Do, 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 do. I can fly. I can't fly through the air. I'm falling down the stairs. Happy birthday. And we're back here. Good morning, deranged maniac. <laughs> and so we, uh, I guess get ready for another day of dreaming. 